Hi, I uh, just wanted to run through an example of what's possible with the Bus Raider. Um, this is actually a prototype of my version 2 unit, which uh, hopefully this is the last prototype and I should uh, have the, the PCBs for the final version in a couple of weeks time. The big difference with the version 2 is that there are no surface mount components. Um, I know a lot of people struggled building the version 1.7 Bus Raider which had a number of surface mount components, some of them quite fine uh, pin spacing. So um, I decided to try and create one with no surface mount which, um, which the version 2 is. Um, and as you can see it uses a uh, an ESP32 still but that's already mounted on a carrier and um, so then it's a simple uh, job of just um, building the board uh, with all through hole components. So I'll just show you quickly what you can do with the bus radar. This is just one of the examples. Um, so when the bus radar starts up um, it starts in the machine mode of whatever machine you had previously running so this is a TRS-80 emulator um, so all of the code is running on the, the original Z80 so this is Spencer's um, Z80 version 2 board I think um, and then this is Steve Cousins back plane at the bottom one of Steve Cousins back planes and uh, this board is actually a prototype of a, a 1 meg RAM ROM board that's kind of based on Spencer's um, paged uh, RAM ROM board uh, which I think was also previously based on a, a previous version but this one has jumpers so that you can choose to either have 1 meg of RAM or 500 and 12k of RAM and 512k of ROM and there's also jumpers to select it between a linear addressing space for if you're doing anything with say um, a Z180 or something with a 24-bit address bus um, or um, you can choose the paged version which uses the uh, 74670 uh, page registers um, so and that works with uh, Warren Wharton's uh, ROM WBW. Um, so, uh, but that's that's a, another prototype board. Hopefully, I'll, that one will also be in the final version in a couple of weeks' time. But if we just now look at what you can do with a bus radar, so you can select different kinds of machines. So here I can select terminals or. Um, so these are serial terminals and there's also an emulator for a 68B50 or you can have a physical 68B50 and take the, the uh, serial lines in through the ESP32 um, and then uh, you can emulate a ZX Spectrum um, as you can see there's no actual software for the Spectrum so it just sort of fills its screen with lines at the moment and let's just have a look at the TRS-80 uh, now currently it still only runs level the level one ROM. I'm just about to fix that, but um, so it can run higher levels of ROM. But um, at least that's enough to play one of my favourite retro games, which is Galaxy Invasion. So if we just uh, you can see in the user interface, I've already downloaded the images for the level one ROM and the Galaxy Invasion um, game into this is actually stored currently on the uh, the flash memory in the ESP32 um, um, there is a, also a an SD card on the back of the version 2 board and that's I don't support that yet but I will probably be supporting that in the not too distant future but you've got about one megabyte of uh, flash memory spare which is arranged as a kind of flash drive um, on the ESP32 so that allows you to store um, a number of, of games and since 8-bit games tend to be very small you can store quite a lot of them so you can see it's still got 1.36 megabytes of, of free space there um, so and you can you can use this button the select a, f a file to run immediately button 
to just choose a file off your disk and then it will send that to the Z80's memory um, and run it or you can just you if you've done what I've done which is to upload some files to the ESP32's uh, drive then you can just run them from here so I'm just going to run level 1 ROM and as you can see on the screen over here um, I'm now in uh, TRS-80 mode and I've got this little keyboard so I can just type on that um, so here's my little keyboard and then if I want to play Galaxy Invasion so you might have noticed there were a few characters came up at the top of the screen to start off with uh, that's because um, the way it executes software in this mode is that it uses the screen buffer which is a kind of trick that people used to do with um, spectrums for instance to overwrite part of the screen buffer with a little loader to load the, to actually execute the game uh, so that's what it does it can also if you have paged memory uh, which this board um, supports um, then uh, the the bus raider can page out all memory and then it can inject instructions uh, which can be used to execute programs so but in this case it just it was just uh, using the screen buffer so now it's run the program the game and currently we're at 1.77 megahertz which is a kind of original um, TRS-80 speed it's pretty slow at that speed um, I use the F1 button for clear so we can see what it's like running at original speed um, and it's a pretty um, pretty slow game at this speed um, but what I quite like to do okay so what I quite like to do is to speed it up so on the bus radio control panel here you can see the clock speed is currently 1.77 and I can just select whatever speed I like here so I'm zooming up to 3.5 so approximately twice original speed and then if I try and play the game now it's a little bit faster a bit more challenging whoops um, so yeah so I had quite a, a bit of fun playing at uh, that speed currently I think it's expecting a level 2 ROM or something so it certainly it seems to go straight back into basic when uh, it gets to this final screen, the high score screen so you just have to press the Galaxy Invasion button again and it just reruns the game so let's just see how well we can do on 3.5 MHz Galaxy Invasion be quite interested to see if anybody uh, can beat my current high score which is about 60,000 on on uh, three and a half megahertz um, Galaxy Invasion. Um, very, very, uh, I'm, I've been having a lot of fun. Oops, I've died. I've been having a lot of fun with this. So that was it. I just wanted to uh, give you a brief intro to the version 2 board. Thanks very much.